Thank you for joining us here today at the Greater Friendship Missionary Baptist Church for our Sunday worship service. Good morning, friendship. It is a pleasure to be back in the house of the Lord. Because this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. It's another day's journey, and I'm glad. Whoa, I'm so glad. friendship for a reason and I'm so glad that he did 
You know, I, got, I want to say a little something before I uh, read my scripture. You know, it's not every day that you, that you meet somebody, yeah. you know, that, uh, that puts a, a kind of a respect on your heart, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, when I left Friendship and I came back and I met this certain man when I got back and he has, uh, he has really put a change in my life. Amen. And this morning, my wife and I, uh, we brought this man something that I hope him and his wife will enjoy. Amen. You know, it's something that we feel about them, which I call love. Yes, and I sure appreciate him and, and I'll do just about anything I can for him. Right. Because he's got God in him right. and he, I've got God in me. And what a friend we have in Jesus. Amen. Amen. If, if you have your Bibles, let's turn to Revelation chapter 4. And we're going to read 1 through 10. May God have mercy on the reading of his word. And we're going to call this the throne in heaven. And it reads, after this, I looked, and there before me was a door standing open in heaven. And the voice I had first heard speaking to me like a trumpet said, Come up here, and I will show you what must take place after this. At once, I was in the spirit. And there before me was a throne in heaven with someone sitting on it. And the one who sat here had the appearance of jasper and a sardine emerald, a rainbow resembling an emerald. Do y'all know how pretty an emerald is? It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. A, 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 a clay the throne surrounded the throne with 24 other thrones and seated on them with 24 elders. Wow. Crowns of gold on their heads. Mm -hmm. From the throne came flashes of lightning, mm -hmm. rumbling and peals of thunder. Before the thrones, there were seven lamps seven. Mm -hmm. blazing. And these are seven spirits of God. Also, before the throne, there was what looked like a sea of glass, clear as crystal. In the center, around the throne, were four living creatures, and they were covered with eyes, in front and in back. The first living creature was like a lion. The second was like an ox. The third had a face like a man. Mm -hmm. The fourth was like a flying eagle, which one of the four living creatures had six wings and covered with eyes all around, even under his wings. Day and night, they never stopped saying, Holy, holy, holy. Is the Lord God Almighty, who has and is and is to come. Whenever the living creatures give glory, honor, and thanks to him who sits on the throne and who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before him and sit on their throne and worship him who lives forever and ever. They laid their crowns before the throne and said, You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power for the creatures of all things. You are the creator of all things. And by you will they were created. And have their being. 
We have a great God, you know. He's a great God. He's a mighty God. Father, thank you for the reading of these words. May these words comfort someone that's having trouble this morning. If you're having trouble, he's the right one you can go to. He's the one. Let's have a short word of prayer. Our Father, which are in heaven. Father, I know that's for heaven because I, I, you know, I feel it. I, I, I can feel you in my heart. Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for every day, Lord. Every day that you uh, wake up and open your eyes, it's, a, it's another blessing. Father, thank you for all your blessings upon us. Yes, Lord, because we we do the, need them. We need the every hour, every minute of every day. Father in heaven, now, that's only one name I can call, and that name is Jesus. Jesus, He is Lord, and I pray, Father, that you go out into this cruel world of ours, Lord, and touch someone this morning, Father. Touch them. They don't know you, Lord, and that's a shame. Because no one has to go through suffering and pain and agony. All they have to do is look up and say, God, I believe you. I believe you had a son that died on the cross for my sin. Y'all know he did do that, you know. Father, would you go out this morning, Father? Bless those that are uh, bereaved this morning, that have lost a loved one. Father, go into our hospitals. Touch those that are in pain this morning, Lord. Father, go into our streets. Lord, touch all these bad guys out here, Father, that think they own this world. But Father, we know there's only one man on the world, and that's you. You control it all. <laughs> you are the rising of the sun, and you are the setting of the sun also. Father, you are mighty God. Father, I'm so glad that I came to know you in, a, in the most respectful way. You know, you brought me from a place that I thought I was king. Oh, Lord. I just have to say, Father, I'm sorry. But you know that. Because that's why I'm standing here. I had that little talk one day with, the, with Jesus. Lord, I'm so glad I did. Because I, because I can see what a wonderful, wonderful change has come over me. And it's all because of you, Lord. Father, bless our world. Bless our president. Bless our vice president. Father, bless our city. Bless all our policemen. Bless all our auxiliaries out there, Lord. Father, I hope this prayer goes out to all our churches out there this morning that are serving you and thus is the Lord. Because we know that's the only way to go. Lord, you got to. Sometimes you got to make believers out of some people. Some people don't believe there's a God. But Lord, all you got to do is just open up your hand and touch. I just want to open up my hands, Lord, and just touch your garment just to show that you were there for me, Lord. You know, our pastor preached a sermon one day. You can go out and bless everybody. But one thing, Lord, please, 
Remember me. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Thank you for this people. Thank you for this beautiful church we have to worship with. Thank you for our pastor. Thank you for that shepherd you brought to us, Lord. He is truly a man of God. Bless his wife, Lord. Bless his family, Lord. Bless all the families that are represented here at Friendship. Father, bless all our ministries here. I don't have to call them all by name, but you know, Lord. And we thank you, Lord. Just keep your hand on greater friendship, Lord. Oh, you're doing some marvelous things here, Lord. And all of your saints here, Father, they believe. Keep believing. Because he is, he is so true. And for those out there that don't believe and have a doubt this morning that you're troubled about something and you don't know what to do, just ask God. Say, God, please come into my life. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. I need you. Thank you, Lord. I thank you. I thank you for everything that you've done and everything that you're going to need to do. Please, Lord, give us strength. Father, thank you. Thank you for this word. And all the God's saints and all the God's children say, Amen. Amen. Chapter 7, verses 16 through 22. In the Old Testament, Judges chapter 7, verses 16 through 22. And we'll hear what thus saith the Lord after our music ministry blesses us with the selection.
again. Yeah. Let's enter into the gates with thanksgiving. That's right. Everybody come with a thanksgiving on their heart. Yeah. Have you come to church? Yeah. Have you come to church? Yeah. So praise God. Yeah. Our great God has made us come and enter in to give thanks because he is worthy. Yeah. He is so worthy. Yeah. To be praised. Thank you, music ministry. Love, that was sweet. Let's give the Lord a round of applause. Judges chapter 7, Judges chapter 7, verses 16 through 22, of Judges chapter 7, verses 16 through 22. I'm going to be reading from the King James, King James Version, and if you would follow me silently as I read the Word of God aloud, out of Judges chapter 7, verses 16 through 22. You'll find these words. And he divided the 300 men into three companies. And he put a trumpet in every man's hand with empty pitchers and lamps within the pitchers. And he said unto them, Look on me and do likewise. And behold, when I come to the outside of the camp, it shall be that as I do, so shall ye do. Verse 18 says, when I blow with a trumpet, right. I and all that are with me, all right. then blow ye the trumpets yeah. all right. also on every side of all the camp, uh -huh. and say the sword of the Lord, of the Lord. and of Gideon. Gideon. So Gideon and the hundred men that were with him came unto the outside of the camp, in the beginning of the middle watch. And they that but newly set the watch. They had but newly set the watch. And they blew the trumpets and break the pitchers that were in their hands. Right. Verse 20 says, And the three companies blew the trumpets and break the pitchers and held the lamps in their hands and the trumpets in their right hands to blow with all. And they cried, the sword of the Lord and of Gideon. And they stood every man in his place, round about the camp. And all the hosts ran and cried and fled. And verse 22 says, and the 300 blew the trumpets. And the Lord set every man's sword against his fellow, even throughout all the hosts. And the host fled to Beth Shitta. We'll stop right there. <laughs> they fled to Beth Shitta. Enter in. Enter in. Our great God's people have entered in. Oh, yeah. The God appointed leader of the Hebrews, Hebrew people. Moses asked this question when he returned from communion with God on Mount Sinai and he saw the people dancing naked and worshiping a golden calf. He asked this question when he saw that. <laughs> Moses said, who is on the Lord's side? Who <laughs> is on the Lord's side? Moses said, who has the attitude of God? Who has the mindset to do what God says do? Moses poses that question to the Hebrew children. And so what's taking place here in Judges, and you will hear me respond over and over, who is on the Lord's side? I'll tell you who's on the Lord's side. All of God's people who have entered in. <laughs> you see, we here in Judges, we have a man by the name of 
get in. So I'm going to pose that question again. Who is on the Lord's side? See, y'all thought that was a miscue when we were singing that song. But I broke it down like that because I told you it's in the sermon. The sermon will tell who is on the Lord's side. Get his name. Get this. His name means one who cuts to pieces. That's the name Gideon. Write that down. You don't have to be in Bible study only to take notes. You ought to be taking notes in, in church. <laughs> Gideon name means one who cuts to pieces. So standing for God will allow us who have entered in to cut the enemy to pieces and we won't have to strike one blow. Let me say that again. All of God's people who are in it, God will give us the means to cut our enemies to pieces and we won't have to strike one blow. We won't have to strike a blow, but we will have to blow. <laughs> Chapter 6 and 7. But so they were like grasshoppers. So they 
they started out with 135,000. Now Gideon started out with 32,000 soldiers. He had 32,000 soldiers in his army. The enemy had 135. That's like a four to one disadvantage. Remember what I said? Victory is given by God, not by numbers. The Lord, now you got 32,000. But notice, if you when you go back and do your reading, the Lord reduced Gideon's army on two occasions. He said to Gideon, oh, I love the Lord. Everybody love the Lord. He says, the people are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hands. Lest the Israelites burnt themselves a brag against me, saying, my own hand has saved me. See, God is always going to get the glory. See, so many times we want to take the glory. So many times we want to get the honor. But thank God he knows. So he said to Gideon, he said, 32,000 is too many. He said, I want you to bring that number down. Because they would think out of the 32,000, when victory is given them, that they did it themselves. They would begin to become brag, braggadocious. Don't we have a braggadocious spirit? Boy, let something happen in our lives. Boy, I sure enough did that thing. You ain't did nothing. I ain't did nothing. If anything took place, it was by the power of God. We so quick to want to get the recognition. All glory goes to the Lord who made heaven. Did he make the heaven? Where are you? Did he make the earth? Where are you? Did he hang the stars in the sky?
said, get it. He still got 10,000. No. No. But that's still too many. Too many. Right. Too many. <laughs> you still got 10,000. <laughs> that's still too many. God said, I, I, I got some. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run him through another test. See, I asked him to go straight to him, but now I'm going to give him a little test. He said, bring him down to some water. And I'm going to give him a test. See, as a pastor, I be watching y'all. See, one time y'all think, oh, pastor, they see that. Right. Yes, I did. <laughs>
have their head Amen. and not watching anything. And I told you, God knows. God knows. That's why victory belongs to God. I will never take credit for any victory. Any victory that's had, God did it. This is personal. Amen. I had my head in the water Amen. and not being alert. Amen. But I'm so glad Amen. that in God's time, He led me to look unto Jesus Christ, who is the author. 9,700. This is what God told them. Send them to their place. <laughs> I told you earlier, I don't get caught up in numbers. You know why a lot of churches are not having worship today? You know why a lot of churches are calling? The pastor don't look out and see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19. The pastor, pastor, the Gideon, don't want to sit out and see empty pews.
trumpet uh -huh. in every man's hand yes, with empty pitchers yeah. and laps within the pitchers. Uh -huh. He took the 300, uh -huh. sent the rest of them up. Uh -huh. He said, you get a trumpet, put it in right hand. Uh -huh. You get a lap, uh -huh. put it in left hand. Uh -huh. He gonna tell him to take a lap.
saved. Yes, sir. Verse 19. So Gideon and the hundred men that were with him came unto the outside of the camp in the beginning of the middle watch. And they had but nearly set the watch. The enemy at this point was in high alert. It was changing on the guard. So they were at their peak on guard. See, when the enemy they are on top. God had them figured out. <laughs> Man, I love them. All. It was at their highest alert that they were getting ready to be destroyed. Notice. Is this some good truth? At the middle watch. And they had but nearly newly set the watch. Now and they blew All right. the trumpet uh -huh. and break uh -huh. the pictures uh -huh. that were in the hand. Uh -huh. You see, <laughs> Gideon, uh -huh. he had a trumpet too. Uh -huh. So Gideon uh -huh. blew uh -huh. his trumpet. Uh -huh. He had already told him, yes, sir. once you hear me blow, yes, sir. you blow. Uh -huh.
see, see all of see the crowd. All those other people. Most people don't know what their place is. Why do you think he got rid of 31,700 and kept 300? Because most people don't know what their land is.
heal each other. Yes. Yeah. That's why I said earlier, right. you ain't got to strike one blow. Yes. Right. Right. Be still. Yes. Right. God will fight you. Yes. 